hi welcome to my channel and today i have a, another theater vlog for you so tonight i am going to see the best exotic marigold hotel at the lowry in salford i've kind of been gifted the tickets for the show's press night i don't know where i'm gonna start yet because we're gonna collect the tickets when we get there i'm going with my mum tonight so it should be a good night obviously when i get there i'll let you know where we're sat i'll show you the view from my seat i don't think there'll be any merch but if there is i'll show you the merch that they have and yeah it should be a good night so i'll get back to you now once i'm on my way to the thing So I've just arrived at the Lowry now, just behind me. Yeah, there's some posters for the show here. So I'm just gonna head in now, go to press desk, collect my tickets for my program, and I'll show you where I'm sat because I don't know where I'm sat yet until I collect the tickets. So I'm going to see where I'm gonna be sat tonight, so I'll get back to you later. Okay, so I'm just in the face now, just gonna head to the press desk and collect my tickets. So I've just collected my tickets and my programme. So we're on row F, so we have to wait 5 and 26. So I'll show you the seats once we go in in a minute. There's lots of leg room, it's a nice view, sort of dead centre. So I think it's going to start in about 5-10 minutes, so I'll probably get back to now at the interval. the next day so I thought I would now just quickly review the show for you so obviously I was at the Lowry last night to see the best exotic um, Marigold Hotel which was on in the Lyric Theatre which is the largest theatre they have at the Lowry um, I was sat in the stalls I was on row S seat 11 and 12 and they were towards the back of the stalls but bang smack in the middle um, and I've never actually sat in the middle at Lowry before I've always sat on the sides and I have to say I didn't realize how big the Lowry stage was sat in the middle you can just see how grand it was and it was an amazing view from there I didn't realize how good the view was from sitting a bit further back you can just you can see everything and it was actually really good so I'm glad I got to sit there because I would never probably have chosen to sit there before but yeah it was definitely a really good view the thing about the Lowry is it's a modern built theatre 
and so you find it hard to actually find a seat with a bad view um, every seat I've ever sat in the Lowry has been a great view no matter what level I've sat on so yeah but like I said this was this was a really good view just because you could see the whole um, stage really well from that seat so yeah maybe in the future I need to try and sit in the middle more because really enjoyed the view from those seats I'm not sure how much those seats will have cost um, because I was gifted the tickets for the press night I'm gonna guess maybe around the 40 50 mark I'm not sure um, but they were definitely very good seats so there wasn't any merch that you could buy for this show there was a program not sure how much the program was I didn't see I think I'm guessing about around five pounds that tends to be how much programs tend to be uh, I did get a program gifted to me because I was there for the press night so I will go through this with you a little later. So the play is actually based on the novel These Foolish Things by Deborah Mogarch, I think. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Um, but it's also been made into a movie called The Best Exotic Marigold Hotel. Um, so that is probably what most people uh, know of it. They probably, most people seem to have seen the movie. I think it was released in 2011. Uh, I've never actually seen the movie and I've never read the, the novel. So I didn't actually know much about the play. Uh, whereas my mum has seen the movie and she'd really loved the movie. So she was really excited to see the play. So the play tells the story of Sonny and his mother. They own a hotel in uh, Bangalore in India. And since the father died, they have to now try and run the hotel and the hotel is quite run down and in a last ditch attempt to try and save the hotel they decide to turn it into a like a retirement home for British people. So again get to learn the stories of the people who come to stay at the hotel so each one of them have a little backstory and we get to learn that story. So that is the basic plot of the play. So the cast for this play had quite a few um, household names in it um, and they all gave absolutely excellent performances. The cast in this was excellent. Really good performances from everyone. I think my favourite performance came from Marlene Sideway. She played Muriel and I just thought she was hilarious in the role. Just thought she was really funny. Like her comic timing was excellent. Um, I just really really enjoyed her performance of Muriel and it just she just made you really fall in love with the character um, so yeah I thought she gave her a great performance so the set for the play was actually really beautiful I really loved the set um, it was like it definitely looked like you're in a um, rundown hotel in India but you could see that it would have used to have been beautiful it had lots of archways and I just really liked it I thought it was a really good set one thing my mum said was she found a little bit disappointing was when they moved to like a, a call centre which is part of the show they didn't um, change the set at all they just brought the lights down at the back um, and brought on like some computers and and telephones and things so my mum said she found that a bit disappointing she would have liked it if like a, a screen came down with a little bit of a different set but I didn't find that too too bad I didn't really mind that much but my mum said she would have liked it if the set had changed a little bit for when they moved to a different a different venue so overall I did enjoy the show however I did find it a little bit slow paced for me um it just seemed to get take a while to like kick in and it was just yeah a little bit slow for my liking however my mum absolutely loved it she really really enjoyed it and she said she would probably go and see it again whereas I wouldn't see it again I've seen it once I, don't, I wouldn't go and see it again yeah my mum really enjoyed it I think it definitely probably appeals more to people of a certain age um there was a lot of older people there and they seemed to be really really enjoying it um not to say the younger people can't enjoy it because I did enjoy it um i just think people of a certain age will probably enjoy it a lot more okay so now i'll just quickly go through the program with you and show you the uh, cast biographies and stuff okay so this is the front of the program it tells you here that it's on at the lowry from the 8th till the 12th of november inside you've got a couple of adverts for upcoming shows so you've got uh, sleeping beauty the ballet i think this looks really good and then we've also got uh, the oceans at the end of the lane again 
would really like to probably go and see that. I think my husband wants to see that as well, actually. Room on the Broom, my children really want to go and see this. So, yeah, it's quite expensive. So we need to try and save up and take them to that because they really want to see that. And then Claws, the musical as well. It's coming to the Lowry. A few more adverts here. And then we get to the play. So you've got a little article, uh, a conversation with Deborah Maggart, who is the writer of the novel. Uh, some an article by the director, Lisa Bailey. You've also got some lovely uh, production photos here. Really nice. I love the Lowry programs actually because the paper seems quite thick and they seem really well made compared to um, some of the ones I've had from like the Palace and Opera House. These ones seem really, it's on really good paper, really well made. You've got a conversation with the composer here, with a designer, and then you've got your cast list here. Here and then you have your understudies here and your creative team on this side and then you have your special special thanks here and then you have your cast biographies here so here we go you got Hayley Mills playing Evelyn Paul Nicholas as Douglas Rula Lenska as Madge Turin Akil as Mr. Gupta, Aline Batty, Batty as Jean, Shanda Carey as Dorothy, Rika John Shiara as Mrs. Kapoor, Sheila Iqbal as Shani. Andy Della Tor as Norman, Karina Japal as Camilla, Hermage Sai Kalira as Jimmy and Sadu, Nishad Moore as Sonny Kapoor, and Marlene Sideway as Muriel. You've got Anna Verman as Mohan and Takal. Adam Morris as the understudy for Norman and Douglas and Julie Wood as the understudy for Evelyn, Dorothy, Jean, Madge and Muriel. And then you've just got more information on like the um, creative team. And then you've just got a few more adverts and that is yeah that is the program yeah so the best exotic marigold hotel is on at the lowry till saturday the 12th of november it's then going off on the rest of its uk and ireland tour so i will link down below the lowry's website if you'd like to buy tickets for those shows i'll also link down below um the website for the best at Zocket hotel on there it should list all the venues it's touring to and where you can get tickets from so i'll link those all down below for you so i hope you have enjoyed this little theater vlog and review if you have please do give it a like and don't forget to subscribe i will have a lot more theater review vlogs coming very soon i've actually got a bugsy malone one which will be coming out very soon i'm also going to see a beautiful at the Liverpool Empire Theatre next week so that what that review and vlog will be coming very soon as well and also we're going to see the Lion King in December and also <laughs> also my we sh we're going to be booking tickets to see Cinderella at the Hope Mill Theatre so yeah lots of good shows coming up so do subscribe if you'd like to see any of those videos so yeah I hope you've enjoyed this little video if you have please do give it a like don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon Bye.